Hi, you are watching an Internet of Things demo using MicroRaiden. MicroRaiden is a scalable, low-cost and low-latency solution for carrying out micropayments on the Ethereum blockchain. In this video, we will demonstrate how MicroRaiden can be used to open payment channels between two machines. You will also see the life cycle of these payment channels, creation, top-up, settlement and closure, along with off-chain ERC20 token transfers. The scenario is... A client machine requests from the server machine an up-to-date Ether to dollars exchange rate at a fixed interval of time. We have three terminals opened. The bottom gray one is the server, the service provider. The above terminal is the client which requests the resource. We can see the overall channel status in the blue terminal. These values are from the server's perspective. For the moment, note the open channels number. This is the total number of open channels that the server has with all his clients, not only this client. The server is already started, so let us also start the client. The client makes a request to the MicroRaiden smart contract to open a channel with the provider for a deposit of 10 escrowed tokens. After waiting for the blockchain to confirm the transaction, both the client and the server are notified. We can see that the number of open channels has increased to 15. Immediately and automatically, the client requests the EtherPrice resource, finds out that he has to pay one token for each request, and proceeds to sign a balance proof stating that he owes one token to the server. Of the 10 deposited. We can see that the total balance number increases with each confirmed micropayment that the server receives off-chain. When the initial 10 tokens are spent, the client will send the top-up transaction to the MicroRaiden smart contract and will deposit another 5 tokens. And we will see that the total deposit number increases from 373 to 378 immediately after the top-up transaction will be received by the server. Topping up the channel has been requested and we are waiting for the blockchain confirmation. The server has also registered the unconfirmed top-up request and we see that the deposits number changed to 378 after the server has received the blockchain confirmation for the top-up. The total deposit number is the number of tokens escrowed by all the server's clients. We can keep this up as long as we like. The balance value increases with every request, showing the number of owed tokens. We can also see the balance increase on the client side, from 13 to 14 to 15. And this is the price resource received by the client in exchange for the micropayments. Finally, we can simulate the channel closing initiated by the client. We expect the total balance number to decrease because the off-chain balance will be settled on-chain. The number of open channels will decrease to 14, the existing token deposits will also decrease to 363, and the number of received tokens will increase with the last balance value sent by the client. What happens is the client will submit the balance proof to the server, and the server's signature can be then used to close the channel immediately. Here we can see that both the client and the server has, have received the blockchain confirmations that the channel has been settled and closed. The number of received tokens has increased from uh, 825 to 844, meaning that the server has received 19 tokens, exactly the blast balance shown in the client terminal. That's it. You have now seen how MicroRaiden can be used in Internet of Things applications for providing an easy way to make micropayments on the Ethereum network. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more MicroRaiden and Raiden Network content.